Now I suppose it's about time that I make this video of my custom built Windows 95 Pentium 3 computer with a ubiquitous floppy disk still on the drive. Probably gonna get in trouble with copyright police, especially around this time, but whatever. On the front, got a black CD rewriter drive because I didn't have a white one. That was a rewriter, and that one down there, that's kind of white, is broken, so whatever, I don't really care. I'll find a white one someday. Got a 1.44 megabyte, 3.5 floppy drive, power button, reset button. Power light and hard drive light, which doesn't seem to work. Got a side fan. Standard size, like you can put that grill on there, but it looks kind of hideous. It's old of a case. And we're here in the back. Actually, just turn it. Oh, move my old carpet. On the back we have power supply, PS2 mouse and keyboard, um, hmm, I'm stupid, two USB 1.1 ports, Ethernet port, uh, VGA, 9 pin serial, LPT1 printer, um, line out, line in, mic in, and uh, 15 pin game port. So just let me stop this video for a second. Here's the inside of the beast. There's a, you can see there's a missing blank because that's usually where there's an IBM synth card in this first BCI slot here. But I took that out for the purposes of filming. Or actually no. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So anyway. I don't know what that was about, but uh, there's the CD Rewriter drive. You can see it's beige on the back, but not on the front, which is retarded. But here we've got the floppy drive with. Hey, just look how much the cable's yellowed compared to that one. <laughs> That's a fail. But yeah, floppy drive. And down here we have a. I think it's a 20 gigabyte Seagate hard drive. And it works, and it's loud, and it's awesome. And there's 128 megabytes of RAM, IBM RAM in fact, if you can see the IBM logo in there, probably not, but then we have this junk Dell power supply, absolutely total trash, but I mean whatever, it works, I mean, it's how many watts is it, let me just see. 170 watts? That is garbage. So it's 170 watts. Which is potentially worse than the small form factor one over there. But anyway, I guess it gets it done. Not very well, but it does, I guess. <laughs> Probably barely power the IBM synth card that's in there. It's actually not all IBM synth card, it's an IBM 3Com U synth, I don't know, something like that. We'll see when we're into Windows. Then we've got the 800 megahertz Pentium 3 processor. I think it's copper mine. Probably. Could be the one before. I don't know. I'm just not really... I'm kind of tired, but more to go. Back there, we've got the connectors for the LEDs, which are guaranteed to be hooked up wrong. Try and fix that. Got the squeaker can because I couldn't find a place to hook up a PC speaker. Like, I'll show you. I have the PC speaker here somewhere. I think it's in here. Serial black backplate. Mm. Oh, there's a couple of them. There's one here and there. Just the one here. PC speaker. They actually don't sound that bad, but 
not the point of this video. And then down there we have um, first generation surface mount technology it seems to be. And I don't know what it's for, probably some sort of chipset for the AGP, considering this is brand new. When AGP first came out around this time, it was brand new and nobody really had an AGP card, so it was all the rage back then. As you can see, it has no ISA bus, which is very heartbreaking. But luckily, the IBM Synth card is a PCI card, so. That's a win. So we have a lot of fan characters. There's one here. There's one somewhere over here. Oh, can't see that. There. And there's one for the CPU fan to plug into, which is plenty for a P3 system. It's full ATX, as you can see. Goes from top to bottom of the case. So that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven expansion slots. Pretty cool. Seven expansion slots are always nice. And yeah. So that's about it. Just takes PC one hundred RAM. And yeah, not much to say about it. I think I'm gonna oh. Just notice. No, that's a SCSI LED. I thought that was the PC speaker connector. Never mind. You gotta try and get that hard drive LED working and then we'll power it on. So until then. Okay, I've got it hooked up here and uh, yeah. I think the speakers are on. They are on and I'm just gonna turn it on. And, yep, monitor's on. And I'm going to turn it on now. Was the hard drive. As you can see the Intel desktop board. Crap. See if I remember the password. Indeed. Very Windows ninety five E indeed. I've got the mouse right. It's in this one. It's an Acer mouse. I'll try to. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where I'm gonna set this down. Uh, right here, maybe. No, definitely not. Okay, let's just... It's DirectX version... Hmm, DirectX 6.1, okay. And if page file 0 megabytes used, um, 921 megabytes available, that's almost a gigabyte. I don't know why it says that, because... Windows 95 can't even make use of that, but I don't know. It, that's, it's doing that. Current date is February 4th, 1997. Well, it's February 4th, but it's not 1997. Okay. So it says Intel Pentium 2 MMX Katamai. Good to know. 128 megs of, or 126 megs of RAM, even though it's 128, but. There's two megs for video memory. 
doesn't say the clock speed of the Pentium 2 that I apparently have in here. Let's run some DirectX tests. Direct draw, let's just... Ooh, shiny. Ah, that's damn fast. Seems to be working. Um, yeah, I did. Okay. Why the hell is the office bar in front of me? It has never done that before. Okay, there we go. Now it's back. Alright, so it goes in front of everything you do. I didn't know that. Direct 3D, let's test it too. Okay. Yeah. Software rendering. Oh, look at that nice cube. That is epic. Oh, it's even a nicer cube. That was hardware. Cool. Music. So we've got, yeah, the 3Com EU synth card in there. And the Roland MPU 401. Righteous. That's on board with the IBM 3Com card. Let's test it. Interesting. Never heard that one before. Yeah, I heard some music. Try the MIDI mapper. Or no. The 3Com U synth test. Not as spectacular, but I mean it works. Oh, wrong mouse. Roland MPU 401. Uh, um. All right, I guess it's not working. Oh, that's really weird. Now nah, the Roland emulator is screwed, but whatever. By far the IBM 3 Kong card did better than the onboard, but yeah, let's just close this. Do some tests of our own. Called to go to my computer and the data drive. Let's see what all do I have on here? My documents, not much in there. All right, I'm just gonna put you guys down. Oh. Exactly working properly, but probably can't hear this. Yeah, um, for what it is, 
IBM 3COM card's good enough. Let's go to settings, control panel. Yeah, there is 3COM usage, but it has an IBM branding on the card itself. So there, Pentium Pro, you can know it's just Pentium 2, in other places, I don't know, it's just kind of confusing. Device manager. Why did it say SoundMax integrated audio? It's weird. It's not at all what's in there, but whatever. Whatever it wants to think. Oh yeah, there it is, the MP401 compatible. That's the one I'm using the, what's it called? IBM 3Com synth card. Doesn't really want to show up here, but whatever. It's there. If I click on it. Yeah, there it is. 3Com card. Kind of an old thing. 3Com U synth advantage controls. So I can set all the uh, outputs and stuff. Whoa, camera craziness. Alright. It's got an Intel 10100 Ethernet adapter with the Intel priority packet and the Intel Pro set. And it has Intel graphics. Because I'm using onboard graphics. Crap, I didn't mean to do that. Mm, yeah, back down here. Not much to see. Multimedia. Yeah, and then there's the 3Com U-Synth, again, because it's very u synth -y. I have a MIDI file to test, so let's do that. The video is run-of-the-mill, like, there's seriously nothing really to demonstrate. Like, I'm not joking, It there is nothing at all to demonstrate. That's how boring it is. I have to have the camera right up to the speaker or it won't pick it up. You can probably barely hear it, but it's there. And it plays. You get the point. I always grab that damn mouse. Anyway. Enough of that. It's Windows 95. That's it. <laughs> there's 
there's literally nothing to see. So I have Microsoft Entertainment back on here. With like Pipe Dream and whatnot. Um hmm. Come on. This is stupid. Give me one that I need. Alright. Yeah, so yeah, I was smart to do that time, didn't I? I think I'll be able to win like that. So, yeah. It's just Pipe Dream. Like, pretty much any other Pipe Dream. Oops. I failed. By one. Oh well. Game over. Too bad. Alright, that's it. Let's shut it down.